Happy Tuesday, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Live at the Boutique with me, Danielle, and Anna's behind the camera. Susan's in the back being Link Ninja extraordinaire. <laughs> but we hope you had an amazing weekend. You guys know I was super busy. I did post a picture of um, my Sunday with my son and son-in-law, and that was super fun. Very, very busy. Uh, like stitches energy busy, very busy. It was your Sunday. It was my Sunday. I love that. No, so we had a great, uh, we had a great weekend and, uh, I got a little bit of a rest yesterday. We went down, if you guys are in Sacramento, there's the cutest little coffee shop on, well, it's called Camellia Coffee Roasters. It's where uh, Shady Lady is. Um, there's a venue there. I can't think of it. Like a music venue, uh, Iron Horse Tavern. But they have oh, the okay. most amazing horchata cold brew. And they have homemade bagels with a onion chive or scallion chive cream cheese. That is it makes my mouth water. You it stop. was so good. So good. I was very excited. You're going to have to start bringing us samples if you're going to talk about delicious food on the video. It was so good. I ate half of it, so I could have half for lunch today. Oh, so good. But that horchata cold brew, it's not expensive. If you get the bagel, $4 with a bagel and cream cheese. I'm like, that's not too bad of a price. And it for me, it's two meals. It's cheaper than Starbucks. Oh, you're down on R Street. I've not seen them. It's not R. It's further down. Iron Horse. Hello, Melanie. Melanie, you're hiking. We need a picture. Uh, but if you're in the area, super fun. Hey, hi, Linda. Fitzpatrick from Pennsylvania. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. That's what it is. Ace of Spades. I have been there. It's a cute little venue. But anyway, that's what we did this weekend. And then we were exhausted. I worked on my my uh, fiber studio. I don't know what. I just had a bug to get things together. I now have a desk with half the drawers. I started. Oh, Ikea has little X's that you can put in their calyx. Yeah. I'm going to tell you they don't fit. Which is ridiculous because it's their product. Yes. So why does your product not fit your product? I don't know. I have. With a hammer, I was able to get X's on the top, but on the bottoms, I can't. So now I'm like, I'm just going to do what we did, you know, like the diamonds, which will yeah. work. I could have like UFOs in there, but uh, it's fun to get it together. Maybe it'll be done. I don't know. By the end of the year. Good morning, Dad. It's funny. I got a bug to like go through stuff to, like to purge. this week Oh, yeah. Too. So there's something in the air. Of get, yeah. Get your space together vibes. Mm hmm. So now I've got a. Oh. Nice. Call for a donation pickup again, you know, get rid of the pile. Who does, stuff. who picks up? Department of Veterans. I'm writing that down. Because frankly, I don't want to, I have stuff to give away. It's like I get text messages for the pickups now because I've done it so many times. It's like oh, I D said I do. DAV and BVA both do it. I just, I said, well, I'll post, um, I'll post it on the collective so you guys can see. I've been working on this, not really working on it. But I bought things more than a year ago because I tried to, I opened one package of Ikea and it's missing parts. Mm. And that's always fun. they said, oh, so sad, too bad. It's been more than a year. Oh, I'm like, I mean, but I, I'm get, like, I, I get that aspect yes. of the time frame. However, it was in a sealed box. So I offered to buy them, buy the pieces that are missing because whatever, I still need them. Because it's a $300 item. Um, so we'll see. I'm in the complaint department currently yeah. at Ikea. Kathy said she needs that info too. So I'll try to post the link on the collective later because they changed the website. The one that it used to be donatedav.org, but now that's for like if you want to donate a car to them or financially not their thrift store pickup. So I'll post the new link in the nice. collective. So, yep. Yeah. We'll post it so you guys can see. It's it's a hot mess still, but there's not stuff all over the floor. It's it's getting there. That's what I'm gonna say. It's getting there. So good morning, good morning, everyone. I can't wait to see your pictures, Melanie. Good morning. 
Karen Conrad. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back. So nice to have everyone popping on. Uh, you guys know we are doing our um, grand prize, which this is really, I love doing it. Here's what we decided. Doing it once a month, we get to make it more extravagant, which I really like that. So this one is really pretty fantastic. Valued at more than $125. We'll tuck in one of those, too. So here is the kit that you're going to be getting. There's more. Sorry. I was like, wait, something's missing. We've been selling the, these, like, hot cakes. Oh, if that's not styling backwards, I don't know what is. All right. So here we are. We'll talk about what is in the monthly grand prize for June. We have three of our patterns. Tablon, which is a cowl in three different sizes, knits and pearls. It looks great in a variegated or something crazy or solid because all the knits and pearls break up the pooling that you would be getting. We have Sunset in the Desert, which is perfect for a self-striped yarn. Again, three different sizes. And then we have Superposition, which is a very fun little tee. Um, Knits and pearls, and there's a really cute slip stitch section. You can hand knit it. You could do it on your machine pretty easily. We included enough yarn for the small size, uh, but you could purchase more yarn uh, if you are a bigger size. The small size, just to be clear, we're not saying it's a 32. The small is a 40. So it really does make a difference. Uh, I probably could get away with the 40. Um, but I would increase down at the bottom. But I think that would be super pretty. Um, I'm going to let you talk about the yarn. So the yarn is this beautiful concept by Katya Summer Tweed Degradé, which has this beautiful ombre of colors. This color is color number 101 with the lavenders and the blush pink, the sunflower yellow, the chocolate and caramels. It is a blend of 80% cotton, 18% hemp, and 2% polyester, and is 202 yards per skein. And in the grand prize, you get three of them. A fabulous shiny leopard project bag that comes with a Natique exclusive stitch marker. It's a cute little cloud with stars that says World of Imagination. It fits up to a size US 13 needle. And then with the class supply tin that's included, it comes with a tape measure, folding scissors, locking stitch markers, a tapestry needle, and then both small and large of our iridescent rainbow markers. And the super fun and fabulous Rainbow Sheep of the Family socks. I said, when we came here to pick up stuff, I'm like, we should sell all those here. He's like, no, no. I was really? like, okay. They could have sold those like hotcakes. He would have sold them like hotcakes. But no, he chose not to. But I'm like, all right. Hotcakes. He missed out. I know, because we have a bunch of them. But next time. I'm going to maybe Next I'll time we'll bully him into it. No, nope. I'm going to bring him to Pride San Francisco and I will sell them for us. I'll make money. Yeah, exactly. If you don't want to make money, I'll make I money. I can do it for you. Oh, all right. So how you get entered into the drawing for this, if you are new to be the Live at the Boutique, we do this once a, a month. And how you get entered every time you make a purchase, either on our website, natikyarns.com, you can call us. Our number is 916-714-7719. Or you can come into our the boutique. We are open 11 to 5, Tuesday through Saturday. Now, we have had some emails about why are we open at 11. Why don't we open earlier? It's because we get here at 9. We ship for an hour. We do our live for an hour. So we can't possibly do live with people in the store. So we are sorry 
uh, if that is not, you know, ideally, could we open earlier? But really, we used to only open at 1030. It's only 30 minutes later. Yeah, it's a very small difference. Yeah, but we cannot change it because it doesn't work with doing our lives, having people in the store. Um, yes, Denise, all of the items that are in our grand prize are available for purchase. Mm -hmm. um, of course, in person, as well as on our website, natikarens.com. Um, <clears throat> Susan, if you look in the comments, Susan will post links of everything, and you can find those links if you want to look through the comments on this Facebook video. Also, we have it up on YouTube. Um, that makes a huge difference. All the links are there. Also in our private Facebook group, Natik Collective. So we try and put it in many different spots to make it easy. Or you can call our store and we can definitely help you. All right. So I'm really excited about our daily prize. So we have one beautiful skein of baby alpaca brushed. This is an 80% baby alpaca, 20% acrylic, the most soft yarn. And you get this beautiful halo, which is a blend of the alpaca and the um, <clears throat> acrylic. It is a chunky yarn, and we paired it with this cute little cowboy cowl called uh, Rosa Gallica. Originally, we did it with one skein of noventa and it's very beautiful it's a one row repeat we even show you look at this great drawing that anna did because this is hard to explain but it shows you how to seam it it is very easy knitting there is nothing hard about this one uh one row repeat i think we did this for turkey day mm -hmm. so there we are so one lucky winner is going to get this prize and we do give a prize away every day that we are doing our live show, which is Tuesday through Saturday. Today's video will be for tomorrow's prize. And you can, it's very easy to enter. Doesn't take a lot of work on your part. But if you're looking at the video and you see things that you like, we've got, um, you can give us some loves, some shout outs. Okay, maybe you're sad. That we sold out of the color you yeah, Exactly. Or, wow, that's amazing. Every reaction you press, you're going to get one entry for that. Happy birthday, Joyce. Happy birthday. Uh, for every comment, you're going to get five entries for every comment. Uh, so the more you comment, the better it is for you. And it's really, I mean, we love all the interactions. That's probably one of the highlights of our day, really, is connection. And so this is a way, even if you're not local, you become part of our um, Natique Peep family. Um, speaking of family, for those of you who purchased something, you do get this because it's our birthday month. You are going to get a Natique Peep sticker to put on your water bottle or your pattern or your binder. I have it on my water bottle because I love it. It's super thick. Um, but that is something that we're also giving away with every order. You don't have to say anything. We're just putting it in. <clears throat> and then if you haven't, ooh, I wonder. You could just click in your comments and say good morning. That's an easy five entries. And then if you forward, this really helps us um, share who we are to people who are looking for a store. So you just do shared to your stories. And share it to my page. You can share it to your favorite group because you have many options over here. You hit the forward, you share to a page. So I can go here. I wonder if it'll work. Well, we'll share it to Crazy. We'll just share it to Natik Yarns. That makes it easy. There you go. Oh, no. It switched. But anyway, that's how you do it. It's easier. We have multiple accounts here. So let's look and see who is the winner of this prize based on Saturday's video. Ooh, Liz, congratulations. I haven't seen your name pop up in a while, so I'm going to say welcome back because you must have been busy. 
Uh, so to collect your prize, if you're local, I don't think you are. I don't think so either. If you're local, you just, I think she's like almost local. Uh -huh. She's in that range. Uh, so if you're oh. able to stop by the boutique anytime Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., you can pick up your prize in person. You just let us know that you want a prize and we'll pull it out of the cabinet for you. Uh, if you're not able to come in and need us to send it to you, then the next time you place an order at nstpyarns.com, just put in the notes that you want a prize and we'll send it all out together in one of our pretty cute packages. Congratulations, Liz. All right. I'm always like, oh, yeah. Man, it's doing a good job. People pick it up their things. Good. We like I that because we it. need room in the cabinet. Mm -hmm. All right. Today we are talking about um, some beautiful excuse me, undyed yarn. It is very nice to work with. Excuse me. I just had a swallow of my coffee. Hold on. Okay. Back on and we're back. Uh, this yarn is called Hanui Silk. It is manufactured by Noral Yarns. And what is amazing, it is undyed. And so this is a creation of blending this one breed of sheep, all the colors that come out of it. Good morning. And it is absolutely beautiful. This is a New Zealand uh, sheep that are bred specifically for Noro. The joke used to be for Curion, like, because it's a little crunchy, could they breed softer sheep? And look, they listened. This is pretty amazing. And... There's more color variation because of the addition of 35% silk. So it's a 65 wool, 35 silk. There is 363 yards per skein, and it is absolutely delicious to knit with. It is a worsted weight. Uh, hand wash, lay flat to dry. I would still do your swatch and maybe... Do your hand wash cycle. Just see if you can do it in that. Um, but it is, as is all Noro, it is a single ply. So you are going to get some thick, thin pieces. Um, but it, I feel like it's pretty, um, it's a lot more um, consistent than how, you know, it used to be. So this is color number 107. This is the beautiful, soft, creamy colors. You can see if I come in close, it'll distort the color a little bit, but you can see how many shades are in there, even in the lighter palette. There's like one that's a little more taupe, one that's a little more camel, and then a brighter, soft cream, almost white, because that's about as white as the sheep comes. They don't come in bleach white. Mm-hmm. But then back here is more of the accurate overall color. There are some beautiful patterns. Thank you, Catherine. It is our 18th birthday anniversary month. I like that birthday anniversary because it's both. <laughs> we can never decide. I know. We so call it our thank birthday you. Or it's a birthday anniversary. So in June. Uh, 2005, I opened the store. I decided in January I was going to open the store. No experience. And I opened it in June. I was so proud of myself. I had, I did a lot of the work myself. My mom helped. And I even had someone's husband come and put together furniture. My oldest son was like 14 at the time. He, I bought all kinds of chairs at thrift stores. He painted them pink. And he put all of most of our bookshelves together. It was just, um, and I had no employees and I opened the store and then pretty soon, uh, Nancy, uh, was probably the first one. She was like open, open, open. Beth Weed came before the store opened, um, Susan, Brenda and Teresa. And those were my girls. So we'll tell you more about it. Maybe show some 
Mm, maybe we'll show some photos, pictures. some throwback photos. Yeah. I was, I mean, gosh, let's say I was in my thirties then and Nolan was 18 months old and he would nap at the store and people would say, I hear a baby crying in the back and we would be like, we, we don't hear a baby. What are you talking yeah. about? I don't hear anything. It was fun. A very, very fun. So lots of great stories, but this is our third location within the same development. Uh, and this will be our final our final spot. It's perfect for us. Uh, I can't imagine needing a bigger space. Um, and it's just set up perfectly. So we love it. But you guys will find out more and more as we come along. Anna came around almost 11 years ago. Almost 12. Oh, it's, it's like 12. November of 2011. Oh, see, so almost 12 years ago. I started Black Friday week. Not only you, um, Emma did too. Emma did too. I don't it's know like, why. Why is I was like baptism by fire. I think Emma, we just taught her how to wind yarn, right? Yeah. I think we just started with here, man winder. <clears throat> yeah, but we have the most beautiful um, patterns to show you. Other options you can do with this beautiful yarn. I'm going to show you probably one or two in between. We've got five beautiful colors. I think this is gorgeous oh that's pretty uh-huh karen we need karen to knit this yeah because that's the, like the same stitch as the blue one over there exactly look at this beauty this is caramel sharp sharp, sharp. oh my gosh <laughs> shawl or caramel shawl but look at this gorgeousness I think it's beautiful. I love the big tassels, too, at the end with the little bead. That's cute. Really pretty. Oh, that's a winner. I'm going to buy that right now. It's like I would be tempted to start that, but I have to do that other thing because the yarn is here now. I'm so excited. Which I have an idea for the stitch, by the way, so we'll oh. have to discuss. All right. I have a couple things that I saw, too. So maybe we'll even do a couple. I'm excited. Okay, I'm literally buying this for Karen because I think that's right up. She might not want to do it, but she likes quick knits. All right, here's another one. This is Pousse Cafe or Pouse. I know, but it's not. I know, but I don't know anything. Like, I literally the other day said I'm lucky I speak English, and my friends oh just my thought gosh. that was hilarious. Look at how cute that is. Have like cute. Could have some color work, but you could detail. use the regular Hanui for that because we also have solids. Um, I love this one. Uh, this is for Pam. Pam does so much of her stuff. This is Big Love by Ankastrick. I love that it's a jacket. Look how gorgeous that is. I would wear this. This may be like you know how we you have that one you wear. In yeah, the winter, the this time could sweater. be a new uh wear all the time. Sweater. Yes. And Hanui has that same like structure to mm -hmm. be that indestructible sweater kind of thing. And look at this is, I mean, you could do it's very gender neutral. You can make it longer. I think that's super cute. That's really cute. Mm-hmm. Kim needs to get on her like test knit list. Like she I could know. just be her tester. She should. I'm gonna add that to our library. And we're volunteering you. Okay, so cute. And look at, I mean, it's really nicely sized. Oh, yeah, Pam said that one's <laughs> on her list. It is. Yeah, I could see it. This is the short version of the Great Love Cardigan. All right, let's check that out. Oh, okay. Oh, no. More like car coat length. I love that. I mean, I need something in between well, the two sizes. Isn't it in between yeah. the two sizes. Mm hmm. All right, here we are, and you could use Hanui Silk for this, too, or regular Hanui. This is color number 108. So this one, you can kind of see, is just a shade darker than 107. It's got a little more taupe in it. Like, it's kind of a gray-brown, but you can see. I love coming in close because I know it distorts the color, but you guys can really see how many shades are in there. And then if I come back here, that is a more accurate representation of the color. Hi, Nancy. 
Uh, Susan Smith Berg. How far is the store from the old one? Three doors. We're literally, yeah, we're in the same. Okay, let me get you. You want to just go quick. stick the like the camera on the window and be like, see that third door down? That one. Here is our development. Here's O'Reilly's. Store number one was here. Store number two was here. Then there's the barber shop now. There is the coffee shop that's coming, and here's our new location right here. And here's a liquor store, the shoe store, the restaurant. Oh, wait, there's a um, event space, event space there. there. Dry cleaner. And then it kind of... It, it, like, jets out. It jets out, so then it's, here. like, here's the next section. And then there's the vacuum. Vacuum and, and beauty. So I we're literally in the same complex because, frankly, who wants to really move? It's just as much work to move next door as it, it is to... It almost feels like it's more work yeah. because instead of, like, one trip and it's all there, it's, like, 700 trips. Mm -hmm. Lots of back and forth. Okay, this is beautiful. This is a free pattern. This is the, okay, the shoulder warmer for the winter time. Just an oversized shoulder shrug. But I like it like this. Yeah, kind of pushed up a mm -hmm. little bit. This one, I don't know how she has it asymmetrical. I think this is. I think her arm is scrunching it up a yeah, little bit. Yeah, you can see? see like a little pucker underneath her hand. Yeah. So, so would, she's holding it there. Yeah, it wouldn't actually look like that. Uh, okay, love this one. This is Novice Sweater by Petite Knit. You don't have to do as high as a neck. Uh, Deb, this would be great for the winters for you. And Hanui is a perfect choice. I love uh, the neckline hair, right? So that's where your increases are happening. I would cast on and only do maybe an inch because I don't want a high neck. Gorgeous balloon sleeves, which that is super popular right now. Or look, you could do short sleeve and another sleeve. This one I'm sure is a blend. Yep, two yarns held together, but you don't have to do that. You could just do an ear and weight. Um, but you know, for some pop of color, wouldn't that be fun to put something like, um, one of these in, pick like more of a neutral and just hold it together. I mean, that would be super neutral, but I'm just saying be bold, right? Do something like this. It'd give you a different look. And then you get the little bit of fluff if that's something that you're excited about. I do like a little bit of fuzz. Is super light? Yeah, Sharon, I always shorten the neck, too. And since she brought it over, this next color in the Hanui silk is color 109, which is kind of, you can see, getting the color's getting a little bit warmer. So it's a little more caramel, but still very soft neutral. Thank you, Patty, for sharing. And, Catherine, you are right. We did have movers that moved the heavy things, um, but this was not as, this was a more painful move to this space. Our first move, we didn't tell anyone. We closed on Sunday at 4 o'clock, moved and opened on Tuesday, and people thought we remodeled. But literally, we had moved next door. The bathroom. Yeah, they're like, you moved so the bathroom? Much. They're like, no. how would you move the bathroom? We're like, um, you guys, we moved the entire store. Did you not notice yeah. it's like a different shape and size and everything? And then in this store, this is custom, our countertops were custom made for us and our class table. So luckily, we didn't have to move those. Because that would be a nightmare. Those showed up, got professionally leveled the yeah. whole jam. I mean, we have cute furniture. The table's from Karen. Karen had a crafting table. I did the credenza at the second store. I love chalk painting, so I took this beautiful 
piece of furniture. And yes, I painted over it. I know, sacrilegious. But if someone wanted it, they could take it off. But I love chalk paint. It's probably one of my favorite Here things. Are beautiful pink chairs. Yep, those are new. It's a fun store. Fabulous curtains. All right. Chandeliers. Now, this is a gorgeous sweater out of Hanui silk. Um, I love the detail here. Very gender neutral. It's almost like you have a type of waffle stitch, and then you have this gorgeous design in the center. And it looks like it continues across the sleeves, which mm -hmm. I think is really cool. Yeah. I think even short sleeves would be fun. I know it's like a winter sweater, but, you know, I mean, we're in California. We could wear that. Yeah. Our winter and your winter are not the same thing. No. Uh, next, as a favorite, this is Harvest by Tin Can Knits. It is a free pattern. We highly recommend it. I love that this gal just kept going and made a jacket because you start at the top and at the bottom. This was one of our Knit alongs. Look at this gal. She's like, yeah, I'm over knitting it. I'm making it into a uh, bolero. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, Pam said she started watching our lives from store number two when we had colors in our hair. Ooh, that's a lot. Yeah. That was a minute ago. That was a minute ago. I still love that. I talked about that. that. Fun. I wish I still had the video. I'll have to look for it. I had a video that I did slow-mo. You could if my hair was straight, you couldn't see the color. It was all at the bottom, the underneath parts. But when the wind blew, you'd see like purple. And I think I did purple, blue, pink. I did gray once. I don't know. It was fun. I literally took a picture of one of Alexandra's shawl cakes once to the hair person and said, can you do this color combo? Was that the fall one that you did? It was like purple, pink, orange. Yeah. It was fun. All right. Uh, we're going darker in the sheep. This is color number 110. These are still all natural wool colors. It's what shades they're blending together. So obviously this one came mostly came from a little bit darker of a sheep. More of like a toasted kind of color. It's like a darker gray brown. And the highlights of the white that you see, I believe, is the silk. Because silk does not come in dark colors. Mm -hmm. It comes in light colors. Because it's undyed. Linda, so you watched probably, I was, I had Everly then. Because we really did the box openings during COVID. Oh my gosh. The, the COVID ones where I was like with the camera on a tripod and constantly trying to figure out which way to move the skein of yarn. When I was at home yeah. for that two weeks. Yeah. Cause nobody else could come in basically. So it was me and a tripod. Yeah. Darla, I agree with you. Noro is, it's unbelievable what they create with undyed yarn. Please. Ooh, lots of great things. Um, I love this. That's this cute. is very similar to what I want to do yeah. with the linen. So this is Oxa by Caitlin Hunter. I love, let me get closer. Love this. I love tech. Excuse me, texture. I want short sleeves so, though. For me. It has that really fun, like the slip stitch with the mm -hmm. strand in front. Like she must have used this chainette yarn because it has like that fluffy look to it yeah oh, can we even get we can't get like right the there. stitch detail would show actually better in the noro because it's not so plump yes that is beautiful yeah you can see the. i can't get bigger but you can see the chainette there in that i agree with you it yeah. would have a little bit more pop this is beautiful she has good size range, 32 she to does? 68. Mm -hmm. Oh, look it. And there's, oh, wait. Well, oh, well, maybe not. Yeah, it's hard to remember and look, to go if back you and get only rid of that. want to do a hat. Oh, that's cute. There there's a hat pattern. I don't even think I'd do the, like, vertical rib thing on the top. I think I'd just have it be all mm -hmm. about the band. Yeah. 
And last but not least in this gorgeous color range, we have color number 111, the darkest one in the collection. This one is like that really rich, like too strong to eat dark chocolate level color. What percentage is too strong for you? The 90%. Yeah. The 90% is like only for baking at that point. I know they sell it to just eat like candy, but I'm like, no, uh, uh, Oh, Linda, remember how we would do every once in a while, we would do a box opening. That's yeah. when she saw oh, it. Okay. Yeah. We used to do that every once in a while. How does that not drive you insane? I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. You guys, I <laughs> forgot all 97 pairs of glasses. So this is what I'm wearing. And I'm like, how does that sticker not drive her nuts? Because I'm like that, something out of the corner of my eye like that would just. You know what it is? I'm a crazy. mom of four. I can essentially ignore everything irritating just <laughs> to be sane. Okay, this is, this would be a beautiful top out of Hanui. And there's nothing crazy about that. I love that you would get some striping. Knits and pearls. I could see you wearing this. I mean, you would want it out of electric slide. Don't judge me. No judgment. You would never, <laughs> you would not this use is, this, though. This is, this this is, is too tame. Yeah. When I first started here, I'd have done this. Now, now I'm like, get that gray stuff away from me. But look at how beautiful this is, you guys, in more of an ombre look. But Hanui Silk is not going to have this much. It's very slight color changes, not even that much. And you guys can see from what I'm wearing. Like this is a really good example right mm -hmm. here because you can see dark, light, medium, like these soft, subtle. Almost if you don't point them out, nobody would know there was striping to the yarn. It's subtle enough that I wouldn't. I would just knit with it. I wouldn't try and fix anything, right? I just you wouldn't worry about I wouldn't, on this No, it, it could be fraternal-esque. If it was super fraternal on the sleeves, yes, I would fix that. But um, here's another one. I think this is super cute. This is Zig by Andrea Mowry. This would be beautiful doing, I mean, I would do maybe something like this. No like that this would be the main color this is the center zig or you know it'd be really fun do a pop of color so you would just put something like this in to just give it i mean okay truthfully i would do this i'm like we all know what color she's going yes, for how beautiful would that be just put a little bit of that in What's funny is I was just thinking on that other sweater how they showed like with that blue you could just ombre some fuzzy to get the colorful. Mm -hmm. We're huge fans of Alpaca Light by Lang. Price point under $10 for 220 yards, really 219 And it's just a carry along. It's actually worsted weight. And I am, when I finish my next, my sweater that I'm working on right now, I'm going to do a sweater just out of this to show people because it is going to be so lightweight. 25 grams has 219 yards. That's like 50% lighter. I think it's going to be super pretty. So I'm excited about that one. Um, I think for envisioning sake, it would be like the sheerness of the mohair sweater that Iris did. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, we've got a couple more sweaters, and we're going to talk about classes, upcoming classes. Oh, oh seen I haven't one. seen this one either. That's cute. This is this is nurtured by Andrea Mowry with slip stitches, slipping with the yarn in front. It's like how the honey cowl was. Yeah, but you know what I was thinking. I mean, couldn't you just do this on the machine, but have it be the pearls? Like, just switch it so the slips are on the pearl side. That'd be easy. Yeah, I think it would be more subtle because it looks like there's like a knit row in between the we could do slips. That. So it's like hers is almost like a garter. And we should do a swatch and find out mm -hmm. if we like it. I think that would be a fun um, 
That would be fun. Because, you know, we don't have any yarn around here that we could swatch or nothing. Right? We're going to keep that one open. And then last but not least, with your leftovers of sweaters, you could make yourself this cute pair of half brioche gloves. This is the Waystone Mitts by Alicia Plummer. I love how they do this. We're going to have to do that if we do mitts again. Oh, for the picture? Yeah, know? it's cute. It's kind of fun to see what people do. Like, I wouldn't even think it, you know, all this. I mean, we have a we have a shtick. We have a shtick for most of the mm -hmm. types of samples. Yeah, we like the consistency of it. All right, let's talk about. So, uh, just to let you guys know, when you're ordering the yarn, um, make sure if you want it wound, just in the notes, right? Please wind me. And another suggestion that lots of people are doing currently is. In the notes, write the pattern you were going to knit with the yarn. And that just allows you to have a reminder when the yarn comes, what were you going to do out of it? And this is what I say. Take the invoice with your yarn and put it away. Um, all my sweater yarn is in chiffon, really big chiffon bags, because it keeps the bugs out. They can't go through the fabric of the chiffon. Which, Which is just that. so impressive because somehow they get through, like, the plastic packages that, like, you know, like spaghetti noodles are in. Because mm -hmm. somehow mm -hmm. you'll end up with moths in your spaghetti. Mm -hmm. I think they opened. were there from the beginning. Maybe. And, I mean. How do they get through the plastic? No, I think they were. Without further ado, it says it's frozen. Yeah, maybe it, maybe it'll come back. We'll just polish it off. Oh, yeah, see what happens. It's very grainy, but it's back. We'll go with it. Maybe it'll clear up. This is a lemon spritz um, out of a Noro Sonata. With I did not leave out any of the details on the pattern, so it's got the lace, it's got the little split cuff, and then the little leaf tie, um, and then I did add a detail of doing a split hem on the ribbing because it just fits better when your rate fluctuates. Mm -hmm. Turn around, show the back. So gorgeous. A little higher neck in the back. Oh, I did modify the neck. Because it was a stockinette neckline, and I did mm. a garter stitch neckline, so it would not be a roly-poly. It looks really good. This roly-poly only is not my And mind. how many skeins of Sonata? Just over two. See? That's affordable. This one is Nutra Wrap out of Art Yarns. Yeah, Merino Cloud and Dream and Color, those are the words. Mm-hmm. Isn't that gorgeous? So much fun to knit this one. Pretty colors. And the little embrace fastener because it keeps it on like a shawl and it's not falling off. 
I love those. No, that was awesome. that's a find. Yeah, I was always I'm as excited about that. Hopefully, there's new ones this year. All right, lovelies, we are off. I will be back at three o'clock for Knit Sip and Hook with Boss Lady. But thank you for joining us on Tuesday. Hopefully, the video is better than what it looks on our end because it could be just our internet. So let's fingers crossed. It's not super grainy, but we will see everyone soon. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.